Okay, thank you. Uh, call and meet in order at 702. Uh, Joe, do you want to do roll call, please? Uh, Alyssa, Mary, myself, Joe, Penny, Elizabeth, Jim Smith. I hear his regular meet, uh, members and Agent Dave Prochette. At 702. Thank you. Kind of figured it would just kind of jump it. And don't forget, oh, an associate. That's Rob, right? Rob. Rob? Rob. Rob. I'll get used to it. I don't know if they'll help you out with anything, but I'll take up room on your coffee table. <laughs> okay. Uh, anybody have a chance to look at the minutes that were? that we have before us? I did not. I did. I, did. Um. Uh, I got September 7th. So September 7th, I think I was not here, but my name was omitted. Yeah, you were, <laughs> according to this. Oh, then the other one, September 21st. Yeah, the 21st you weren't here. <laughs> okay, so we got a motion from Elizabeth to accept the minutes from September 7th, 2016. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Extensions? Thank you. And. She's not at the other two, so I can't. All right, Elizabeth, you had a motion for. Did you put a motion for April 5th? I was. April, no, you weren't there either, huh? Okay. All right, September 21st. I was there. It was me, Sandy, Joe, Jim, Melissa, Mary Taggart. And I didn't get a chance to read those either. You want time to look at them? No, if somebody's took a look at them and comfortable. Anybody look at them? I didn't get them. But I didn't see anything. So they're all right. No, that was. Yeah. No. I didn't remember. Then I'll make a mo make a motion then. We accept them. Second. Okay. Alyssa's Second. motion seconded by Mary. Aye. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Extensions? Okay. Uh, April fifth. Myself, Sandy, Joe, Alyssa, Mary, Jim, and Rob were present. Alyssa, did you get a chance to look at these? I did not. I only read it two. Did anybody get a chance to look at these? I looked it over, but I'm not voting. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's a positive note. Nobody else has looked at them. Anybody want, anybody want a chance to... Scan them quick. Do you got them? I wasn't here, so I can't vote. Jim? Yeah, I got them. I'll give it a minute. It'll be right back. Uh, no, where is it? At the time, it lets me do it, and other times it doesn't. There you go. Mm -hmm. Just mention for the record that on for these minutes that um, Elizabeth is I don't know if that was reflected in the vote. Oh, yeah, that's right. For the minutes of September 21st and just that one for now. Elizabeth has had a, has abstained from that vote because she was not present. Yeah. I know. I didn't want to jump the gun and start early, but okay, he's got the those. These are all set. In the meantime, <clears throat> just wanna inform everybody that 
This meeting is being recorded for television. Uh, it's a smile. <laughs> All right. David, certificate of compliance. Yeah, we can. Is anybody here for the William Franklin hearing? Okay, they requested a continuance. Is that going to be to the 21st? The 21st. Send these down. Thank you. I'll move to continue the hearing to June 21st. Second. Elizabeth's motion seconded by Mary. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstention? Thank you. Anybody here for the town of Wareham, the Wareham Harbor Master Shellfish Department hearing? Um, <clears throat> on that, we did receive a letter that's in your mail from Division of Marine Fisheries. Um, they had some additional comments, and based on those comments, um, the applicant is requesting a continuance to the next meeting. Okay, so moved. Okay. Second. Joe's motion, seconded by Elizabeth. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Thank you. By the way, I have no problem with those minutes. All right. Um, I motion we accept them. Okay. Jim motion made a motion to accept the minutes for... April 5th. Second. Yeah, the one I passed out. Yeah. <laughs> Mary seconded by Mary. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? One abstention. Elizabeth extent, abstained. Okay, that takes care of those. Now. It's your turn. Uh, certificate of compliance for Alan to sign it or Des Paul. I don't know the number of this. I don't know. Thirteen Eighteenth Street. Can you sign this? When it's uh, come up to the table, please. Yeah, I. David will highlight, and then we'll go from there. And just identify yourself for the record, please. Uh, Alan W. Despot from 1318 Street, Onset. Thank you. All right, David, when you're ready. Okay, this um, project site again is at 1318 Street in Onset, and the project involved the extension of a roadway um, in the buffer zone to wetlands and within a flood zone. Um, the roadway part has been completed. On the original plan, there was uh, a catch basin with a leaching pit proposed to handle runoff from this additional paved area. Um, that had not been installed. So um, that's the discrepancy that exists with this at this point in time. I did speak to the owner about this, and um, he claims he was not aware that that was not installed. Joe, did you get a chance to? Yes, I did. And uh, basically what David said, um, the big change from um, what was specified in the as-built. Um, I did go down there, Dave, and there is a grade to that road. And you can see where the erosion at the end has been built up. So in lieu of a fine, because actually there should be a fine involved, but um, in lieu of that, if they get four inches of crushed stone at the end of that apron, okay. uh, at least you don't need it all the way across, but I'd suggest at least, you know, a foot by four inches deep at the very end of it, and then right where you see that path, okay. more or less get that water to stop flowing that way. Okay. And then I'd, I'd forget about a fine. I, that's what I would go with. That's acceptable as far as I'm concerned. I mean, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm seriously, I was completely unaware. That was 18 <laughs> years ago. And I, I know that, that that happens. That happens. I first 
time we were selling the property, and it's the first time I ever heard of the certificate of compliance. To be honest with you. So. No, that happens. That happens. So, oh. uh, Dave, uh, Kenny, mm -hmm. she, she needs to come up. Yes. Are you aware that there, that land is for sale now on mm -hmm. the left-hand side, and they'll be extending the road? Yeah, here's the lady. Come on up. Uh, you have to come, come up. To the table. Well, there's a chance. We don't know for sure, <laughs> yeah. but obviously. You know, because I had taken, um, we took a bunch of pictures. Of yeah. No, we want to get you squared away so that way you can. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Right. Yeah. So what we need is, you said, approximately. Yeah, come out at least a foot on the majority of the backside towards okay. the woods. On the end of the, 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 Yeah, about four inches deep. Okay. Almost the same thickness. I think you got three inches of asphalt there. Right. And then if you come down, you know where the path is? Right. That got built up, I could tell. So if you dig out there and lay stone in there too, you don't, maybe Just two feet there by two feet wide. Okay, crushed stone? Not oh. crushed stone, um, just, you know. Okay. Like gravel. Two inch. Gravel or, what, no, not gravel. No, stone. 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 Yeah. Okay. That way it'll save everything from washing out okay. and stuff like that. Well, crushed, crushed stone or natural stone, doesn't matter. Yeah. Stone to stone. How big? Well, the crushed would. Uh, the crushed would probably be easier to. It would stay All right. about yeah. four inches. Because it led to lock. Yeah. 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 Crushed stone? Oh. You're suggesting? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Three quarter inch or something would be. Mm. Three quarter inch easier. Actually, inch and a half is even better. Yeah. Okay. Excuse me. That sounds reasonable to me. I, I, I want to make sure we do this right. Okay, so it's how wide do you want it? Two feet. The end? I think one foot. One, one foot. foot wide. From the back. Okay. okay. Except for right where you could see where the path where it got built up. Right. That I'd like to have that dug out a little bit and come out at least two feet, even more. You can't go for too far for me. Two feet on the path? Yeah. Two feet in the path area. Oh, Into the path by about okay. two to three foot wide. Just so the water has some place to travel. And how deep or how, how thick? You just need it so it's going to stay there. Okay. It's to protect down the line. Right. Yep. So how, how big do you want the crushed stone? What's um, they can, the crushed stone comes in it's like oh, pea okay. size with the stone okay. dust. So crushed stone and roll right out. Well, if you're, you're, you're oh. trying to do a uh, run water through it, then you're probably inch and a half crushed stone would be. That's, yeah, I would yeah, say it's larger. Inch you know, yeah. 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 One and a half inch. Right. One and a half inch. So, yeah, that sounds logical right. to me. Okay. <laughs> Because like you said, it would drain through it. Otherwise yeah. It would kind of Other than that, it would just wash away. Okay. Probably. How deep would you like that? I'm sorry. Just enough so it doesn't four wash. Inch. I'm saying four range, but some place. Okay. okay. So. And the whole width of that. Yeah. I just only wanted to extend out farther, right where you could see where the water does run down, where the path is. It's sort of like. Yep. Okay. And you see where the path is, right? Oops. Whoa. Nope. Go back there. See where the path is kind of over on this side? Yep. There is a, I say the Indians made this path. Yep. <laughs> it's actually a road, um, paper road. It, yeah, exactly. That's what it right. is. Mm -hmm. So that's, so it's be right there then, in that corner. Yes. Kind of that's, you ready for that's this one? That's two feet wide. I'm um, extended out. Two feet. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think right. going to jump right in there. Because there is vegetation down. there. Yeah. This is why we can yeah, there's a lot of vegetation, yeah. as you can see, but, but you don't want to undermine the end of the tar and stuff. Okay. Okay, so we got to dig down a little bit. A little okay. bit, yeah. All right. And then, um, it, will David be inspecting it? Yes, he will. Okay. Dave, does that, um, does that work out for the rest of the board? Uh, suggestion? Mm-hmm. You can go two ways with that. You could either continue it until it's done, or you can condition it that David can issue, can issue the certificate when he's satisfied that it's done. I think I'd prefer to do that if he's willing. Yeah. I would. Yeah. I would appreciate that. That's yeah. OK. Yeah, Joe's we get, motion. We get quite a few of these each year. <laughs> <laughs> Joe's motion. 
Second. <laughs> Second by Mary. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Thank you. Okay, Thank you. I'm going to start digging now. <laughs> <laughs> Is it already? Thank you very much. Have you already sold it? Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Well, you know, until we get yeah. this cleared up. And the other ones that were requiring the I said, what is that? I have no idea what it is. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right, folks. Have a good night. Coming out. Well, we'll just call you, David. When yes. <laughs> Did I wake you? Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> who's, who's reading here? In don't want me to read. Yeah. Liz. Liz. Oh, okay, Liz, thank you. <laughs> First one, please. Notice of public hearing pursuant to the provisions of the Massachusetts Wetland Protection Act, General Laws Chapter 131, Section 40, and the Wareham Wetland Protective Bylaw Division 6. A public hearing will be held in room 320, Wareham Multi Service Center, 48 Marion Road, Wareham, Mass., on Wednesday, June 7th, 2017, at 7 15 p.m., on the request for determination of applicability for Cynthia Petrie. 17 Indian Neck Road, Wareham, Mass, 02571, for proposed addition for property located on Assessor's Map 45, Lot F57, 17 Indian Neck Road, Wareham, Mass. Anybody here for that? Come up to the table, please. Identify yourself for the record. And then David will explain it. Cynthia Petrie. Thank you. Uh, do you have the green abutters cards? Copy of the certified. The certified. Oh, yeah. <coughs> yeah, David. Thank you. Good. Um, the project site is at 17 Indian Neck Road, and the project involves the construction of an addition within a coastal flood zone. A 10 by 23 foot addition is proposed within coastal flood zone AE elevation 14. Um, the addition would have a poured concrete foundation. Um, the work is not in the buffer zone to any other resource areas. Um, there's no grade changes proposed. So I would recommend the approval of the project with a negative determination number two. Okay, uh, do you have anything you wanna add, explain, uh, defend yourself? <laughs> <laughs> okay, questions from the board. Jim? No. Elizabeth? No. All set. All set. Rob? Rob? Joe? All set. Mary? No question. Melissa? Yes. Audience? Motion okay. close. Joe's motion? That's second. Seconded by Alicia. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Further motion? Motion to grant with a negative two determination. Second. Motion by Joe, seconded by Elizabeth. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Thank you. That was easy. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> Notice okay. of public hearing pursuant to the provisions of the Massachusetts Wetland Protection Act, General Laws Chapter 131, Section 40, and the Wareham Wetland Protective Bylaw Division 6. A public hearing will be held in Room 320, Wareham Multi Service Center, 48 Marion Road, Wareham, Mass., on Wednesday, June 7, 2017, at 7 15 p.m. On the request for determination of applicability for Church in the Pines, care of Joel Hartley, RPE, 585 Front Street, Marion, Mass, 02738. To install a water line for property located on Assessor's Map 103, Lot 1048, 30 East Street, uh, Wareham, Mass. Okay, anybody here for that hearing? They've requested a continuance till 621. Oh, seven, six, yeah, 621. I don't even know what month it is. <laughs> <laughs> that could be a good thing. Oh, this one. I'll move to continue the hearing to June 21st. Second. Liz Elizabeth's motion, seconded by Joe. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, abstentions? 
Thank you. Okay, next hearing, please, Elizabeth. Notice of public hearing pursuant to the provisions of the Massachusetts Wetland Protection Act, General Laws Chapter 131, Section 40, and the Wareham Wetland Protective Bylaw Division 6. A public hearing will be held in Room 320, Wareham Multi Service Center, 48 Marion Road, Wareham, Mass., on Wednesday, June 7, 2017, at 7.15 p.m. on the request for determination of applicability for Lisa Brownson, care of GAF Engineering, Inc., 266 Main Street, Wareham, Mass., 02571 to upgrade an existing cesspool with a new sewage disposal system for property located on Assessor's Map 21, Lot 1005, 9 Lydia's Island Road, Wareham, Mass. Evening, I'm Bill Madden from GAF. On behalf of Elizabeth Brown, uh, Lisa Brown. Thank you. David. Come here. This one, I've done the work for the extension myself in the discussion and voting on Okay, you, uh, just for any, Joe's going to exclude himself from this hearing. Um, the pr okay, again, the project site is at 9 Lydia's Island Road, and the project involves upgrading a septic system within a coastal flood zone. An existing cesspool is to be replaced with a new Title V system within coastal flood zone VE elevation 17. The proposed work is not in the buffer zone to any other resource areas. Um, there will be some minor grading around the proposed leach field as shown on the plan. Uh, a new septic tank would be installed behind the existing dwelling uh, as shown. I would recommend the approval of the project with a negative determination number two. Anything to add? Bill? No, I don't. Questions? No. Elizabeth? No. Rob? No. Bill? No. Oh, you're, you're, you're not, not here. <laughs> Mary? No question. Lisa? None. The audience? Okay, take a motion. I'll move to close the hearing. Elizabeth's motion? Second. Yeah. Seconded by Mary. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Proposed extensions. Further motion. I'll move to grant the project with a negative two determination. Elizabeth's motion. Second. Seconded by Jim. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed. Aye. Extensions. Right here. One abstention. Joe. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Notice of public hearing pursuant to the provisions of the Massachusetts Wetland Protection Act, General Laws Chapter 131, Section 40, and the Wareham Wetland Protective Bylaw, Division 6. A public hearing will be held in Room 320, Wareham Multi Service Center, 48 Marion Road, Wareham, Mass., on Wednesday, June 7, 2017, at 7 15 p.m., on the Notice of Intent for Fort Fairfield BP LLC slash Navionics LLC, care of GAF Engineering Inc., 266 Main Street, Wareham, Mass., 02571, to develop a vacant lot to include a single-story commercial building and associated site improvements for property located on Assessor's Map 108, Lot 1006, Q4, Q2, Q3, Thatcher Lane, Wareham, Mass. Okay, David, when you're ready.
Okay, so the project site is on Thatcher Lane in the industrial park, uh, lot 1006, Q4, Q2, and Q3. The project involves the construction of a commercial building and an additional future building pad, um, along with associated parking, drainage, and utilities. Some of this is in the buffer zone to bordering vegetated wetland. Um, the wetland in this area is a uh, cranberry bog. Okay. The proposed commercial development uh, would be up to the 50 foot no activity zone line. There are two points shown on the plan that encroach into the 50 foot no activity zone up to within 30 feet of the edge of the wetland. Um, I spoke to the engineer about this and recommended that these should be reduced in size or eliminated. Um, I don't know that they're necessary in terms of the scale that they're shown. There is a proposed future building pad identified for a 52 by 150, 15 foot building. And portions of the proposed detention basins uh, are proposed partially within the buffer zone to the wetland. Um, the town's engineer has um, submitted comments on this project because he's also reviewing this project for the planning board. And he did have some recommended changes to the project relative to stormwater. Um, we did get a DEP file number for the project, um, but at this time I would recommend that the hearing be continued to address comments from the town engineer and to address um, the issue with the encroachments into the 50 foot no activity zone. Yeah, okay, he's, he's going to have trouble hearing you in the mic. Take it with you, Bill. He said take it with you. <laughs> you got him on a shot tether. <laughs> okay. um, basically, on sheet number three, what we've done is, as part of the planning board, um, site plan review requirements, We've superimposed the development site on an aerial photograph just to give everyone some context of what's proposed. But um, in any event, this is Kendrick Road in the industrial park. This is Thatcher Lane. Um, the Navionics building um, at the end of Thatcher Lane is located to the north of our site. And we have about a, a three and a half acre site that we're looking to develop with an 8,000 square foot office building and a 6,000 square foot office pad. As part of the project, we're also extending Thatcher Lane about 150 feet to develop the frontage for the, for the lot. We also show a, a parking facility um, that will park, uh, I think we have 66 parking stalls yeah, within, within that area. Um, also now. within the area is the stormwater management system. We have small isolated, some bioretention areas to, um, to capture some of the stormwater runoff from Thatcher Lane Extension and from the parking lot. And our drainage basins are located on the south and the north end of the site, basically following the topography, which is in a southeast direction. Um, the northerly most drainage basin picks up the drainage on the northerly portion of the site, the stormwater discharges into a, a stormwater um, proprietary structure to uh, to clean it before we discharge into the into the stormwater basin. So that's essentially an overview of what we're what we're proposing to do. The wetlands that Dave is talking about are the adjacent Cranberry Bog. Those are owned by ED Makepeace Company. We've been in contact with them and we have um, an agreement in principle on how we're planning to develop the site and uh, we'll continue to work with them. Those, the development of our plans will be forthcoming at the next planning board meeting and then we'll incorporate some of the comments that uh, were raised by Charlie Rowley during his review of the site plan application. Um, on sheet number eight, this is the one that essentially just shows the minimum amount of information that 
actually the fire department access access work. But what we do is we have two resource areas on the site. We have a 200 foot riverfront area. Rose Brook from that aerial photograph cuts through the cranberry bog. But we so the 200 foot riverfront area associated with that basically just clips the upland edge on the westerly portion of the, of the bog. Then we have the uh, the 100 foot buffer zone to the VBW, which is the cranberry bog that extends um, to the, I guess the northwest across the site. So this line here identifies the 100 foot um, setback from the bog, and you can see from that we have a portion of our building in it, the outfalls of the southerly drainage basin and the outfall from the northerly drainage basin are within that 100 foot um, 100 foot buffer zone. So what we did do is we respected with all of our site grading and all of our site planning the 50-foot uh, the no activity zone that's required under the local bylaw. So we don't have any of our construction activities located within that, but there was a necessity to um, connect the existing roadway system from the cranberry bogs to our network of driveways on the site. On the site. And that's basically because currently um, the, it's just easier to show it on this. Well, I guess I can't show it on that because it's not on there. We've covered over the, um, the, the cranberry bog operations have had the benefit of an easement through the site for the purpose of access. Um, the current access that they have is, let's see where am I, is, is right up here in the northerly portion of the site. But if you look at that cover sheet, you can see these dirt roads that cut right through the middle of our site. So we're, what we're trying to do is um, develop an easement language for the Make Peace Company to, to drive from their, from their series of bog roads and connect to our emergency access drive on the north and south side of the built proposed building pads. So what we have to do is we need to work within that no activity zone just to maintain some continuity between their existing roads in the way to get out of the site with with the loaded cranberry trucks in sand for um, sand for cranberry bog operations for the most part. That's those are really the two major reasons why we need to um, develop this access through here is because we can't really get a tractor trailer on that small narrow um, easement to the north. So they historically have always accessed the bog for picking and for maintenance through, through our site. So we need to connect our road there. So what we did is we showed 50 feet in width. And the reason we showed 50 feet in width is because the fire department access road on the north side of the building pad site is required to be 20 feet. So we maintain that 20 foot width coming down um, to that 50 foot no activity zone line. And then we just show two 30 foot radiuses on each side because that's, the, that's really the standard turning radius like that Mass Highway might use for uh, a highway access. So the 30 foot radius is on each side plus 20 feet. That essentially is a 60 foot wide cut that's required. We felt that we could probably fit it in 25. So I'm sorry, into 50 feet. So that's why we show 50 feet in width. And we think that it is required to have those radiuses at that, at that, at that dimension for proper turning to come out onto the site. So what Dave would like us to do, I think, is, is, minimize, is minimize that width. But I think in light of the safety concerns on the site and if fire department access is, is required to be 20 feet, in the event you needed to come down to an EMS or an ambulance or something like that, um, as a, you know, we thought that 20 feet was consistent with the site design, it made sense to come through with additional, with 20 feet, um, so that any emergency vehicles and our operational vehicles just have reasonably easy access into that site. 20 feet's not that, that wide, 24 would be better, but we thought that for consistency's sake on each end, um, that that 50 foot would, would make some sense. 
So that's what we've shown that we'd like to keep it. We'd like to keep it the way it is. Um, we don't think it's already developed. The land is already altered. It's not a situation where it's pristine um, buffer zone to a to something other than a cultivated wetland. So taking that into consideration, we thought that um, that was kind of a modest improvement that we were seeking. Dave was correct. The cranberry bog does does project westerly about five more feet in this area. So this 30 foot doesn't accurately represent the, uh, the distance that we're gonna be into the buffer zone. We're gonna be a little more on that northern, we're gonna be a little bit more on that northern side. And I think we'll move to try to shorten that up as we're revising the plans for, uh, for our meeting with the, with the planning board. I don't think he had an issue down on this. I don't think there was any issue down here. I think it was more up in, up in here, the, right. north, the north axis. So that's what we, uh, that's the rationale behind what we're doing. Right now, we've, we've designed all of our site improvements just right up to that 50 foot, 50 foot line. And you can see those, I think they were on sheet five or six. They're screen, their screen just shown lightly as to what the development scheme would look like for that building pad site. <coughs> so that's, um, that's, pr that's pretty, much, pretty much it. Down here on the southerly side, there's gonna be a need to provide electric service. Well, there is electric service to each one of those two signs. There's a sign for the, uh, the, where, the mall, and there's a sign for Navionics. They're both shown down here. And uh, for maintenance purposes, they need to access the signs. And I believe there's an electric meter down there as well that needs to be read by uh, Eversource. So we'll look to see if we can shorten it up for the next for the next hearing. But that's the rationale um, and the reasoning behind the design as it presently sits. So I don't know if you have any questions on the project in general. Um, I'm happy to answer them for you. Jim, no. Elizabeth? Is the road for the purpose of <coughs> the commercial development or for the cranberry bog? This axis here? Uh, yeah, the encroachment in the 50 foot no activity zone, is that for the purpose of the, <coughs> the development or for the cranberry bog? For cranberry operations. So couldn't the cranberry owners come and, and finish that road if they needed the access? Yes, they could, but since we're the ones that are cutting off their access, we felt that it was our obligation to provide them with the same light type access to the site. So that's the reason why we're present, preventing, presenting it um, to you. But I suppose, yes, it is an option to have them do that. Rob? Jim? No questions at this time. Mary? No questions right now. Elisa? Yeah. David, you got anything else to add? No. Anybody in the audience? No? <clears throat> Would you want to continue this, you said? That's what I'm recommending, yes. Continue to the next meeting. All right, agent's, agent's recommendation is to continue. So moved to the 21st. Second. Uh, Joe's motion seconded by Elizabeth. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Thank you. Hey, thanks very much. Let's do the 21st, right? Yep. Yeah. 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 Phil, you don't happen to have a small one, do you? Uh, okay. The ones that didn't do come and didn't bring them. You know what? I'll have them for you for the next meeting, though. Bring an adequate set for each, each member. All right, thank you. Joe, good question. We're moving this back up into this. Okay. Certificate of compliance. If you want to yeah, do that one now? Sure. Wayne Cunningham. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 192 Glen Charlie Road. You can always do that. They're going to have to come back because they just got to go through the town planner and the zoning board and stuff like that. We're interrupted parties. Oh, okay. 
Because that's a man-made wet area. Hi there. All right. We're doing a certificate of compliance for Cunningham. Are you here for that? On that hearing. Yeah, on that. Okay. Okay. All right. Sure. Figure out which. They're still trying to. Let me see. Guys can't go away. There you go. You got the color sheet for it. I was hiding it. You were hiding it. Okay. Well, we got one set of plans here. Kind of no, pass through. <laughs> I don't have it. <laughs> that's the as built, and that's what was proposed. <laughs> and David will explain it. Come on, ladies. What are we looking at? This is what was proposed. So we've got an as built, okay. and this is what was proposed. A little bit different. Get another one. I got one extra copy of before and after. Okay. Pretty good. So this um, project site is at 192 Glen Charlie Road, and this is a request for a certificate of compliance. The project involved the construction of a seasonal dock, retaining wall replacement, and proposed patios and walkways. Um, the project has been partially completed. The dock has been installed. Uh, there's retaining walls that were proposed to be reconstructed that were not replaced. Um, the brick patio was not constructed according to the plans, but was done in a different configuration as shown on the as-built. Um, there are also three oak trees down by the water on the property that were shown on the original plan to that were supposed to remain. Um, those trees have since been cut down. Um, there has been some plants uh, put along the property line and in the vicinity of where the trees were cut down. But I wanted these discrepanc discrepancies to be pointed out to the board. So there was some trees cut down that were not proposed to be cut down. Um, no vegetative. The site overall is generally stabilized at this point, but Again, I just wanted those differences to be clear to the board. Any questions? Stumps remain. They did not think to take So the deck was not changed? <coughs> no. Elevated what were you saying? Oh, okay, I see it. No changes. It You're talking this different. It's different. Yeah. Larger. We did something There's different a here that is scale to even proportion, though. <coughs> really? Oh, they didn't do that. That's a plus, but. What's there now? Low shrubs and grass. It's stable, though, right? <coughs> yeah, it is. No vegetation. This is a change. No, 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 Find and see what. Yeah, see what they want. All right, um, Joe, anything? 
I just don't like the idea of trees being cut down without a phone call being made to find out if it's okay. That's something we can't <coughs> actually make up for with a get to the mic. 18 inch. Y yeah, you guys, you got to talk oh, into the mic. Sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get yelled at over there. We don't yeah. want that to happen. No, I just got to, I mean, they did a, you know, they did do some replication and stuff like that, but it's, it's just a phone call to make about the existing trees. And like I say, an 18 inch oak tree, I think that was marked down somewhere. Can you see pictures? Is it before pictures or after? <coughs> That's before and after, before up top, after. Yeah. All the trees are taken down. Right, are the stumps still there? Oh, jeez. Yeah, here so it says they remain. Are the stump, have the stumps been Those ground? are new ones. Stumps were, I didn't see any stumps. They were removed. They were within the, the shrubs. All that, all that current planting that's there, that's along the edge of the pond, uh -huh. is Taking up in the taking up the area where those trees used to be, and as you can see on the pictures, it was just trees and mainly grass in that area, yeah. just not much ground cover. Those aren't new plantings, though. A lot different than it is today, or today should be a little better ground cover wise. The trees were in close proximity to the house, mm. okay. but were probably taken down many years ago. Yeah, I just have a big bugaboo about the tree cutting like that when it doesn't show up on the original plan. So I, I, I definitely want want to see a fine of some sort on this one. But the other stuff, I'm comfortable with that because it's staying within the same. They just vegetated the slope. They didn't. Yeah, the ladies are still studying. Quite some time ago, huh? Yeah, yeah. It was 2005. Well, yeah. <laughs> it came up because uh, they're selling they the house. A, they're selling the property, and <laughs> they've delayed the closing because of this. So we see that happening. <laughs> <laughs> Overall, it was a, a lot smaller amount of work that took place then yeah I, yeah I don't have that problem with um the other stuff that looks like it's been changed it's just cutting down trees yeah it's now the place has been sold or being sold uh, it hasn't sold yet but it's in the process they mm -hmm. this is holding up the process okay and you are the current owners I'm the buyer you're the buyer you're the bias. And I'm the buyer. She, he's, uh, she's my mother. Okay. One minute. You want to sit with this? Mary. I agree with him with the trees, but other than that, the plan looks okay. Lisa? It's been a while that this all was done. So. Rob? Okay. You're being quiet tonight. <laughs> uh, okay, now input from the audience. Now, if you would like to say something, you can come up to the table and say it. I'm not really sure what to say. I just kind of wanted to hear what you guys had to say. 
Okay. Yeah, I just wanted to get the information because I had a feeling that no one else was going to come, so I wanted to be the one who came and heard what you guys had to say. So okay. It's usually a good idea. Okay. Yeah, exactly. So I figured I'd take the initiative to just come to the meeting and hear myself. All right. What's the wish of the board? <coughs> I'll, I'll make a motion to give a certificate of completion on the stipulation of a, let's say, $200 fine for cutting down the trees. We can go up to 300 but. Second. Per tree. No. Okay. Joe's motion, seconded by Elizabeth. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so Bell cut trees without a phone call. Let it buy. All right, you're buying the place, so remember, <laughs> if you want to do anything, call him first. <laughs> David Pichette. Okay. Is that it? That basically concludes our business. Have a good night, everyone. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, too. Congratulations. Um, we got no bills. We got no d discussion on appointments. Continue to the 21st. Okay, I'll take a motion. Motion to close. Er, Adjourn. <laughs> Elizabeth's motion to adjourn. Second. Seconded by Elisa. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Extensions? Thank you. Shut it down. Thank you.